Well, hello, Color Me Bad Nation, and welcome back to yet another recording and share of a fragrance in my collection. Today, we're going to be talking about a nostalgic fragrance, not one that I'm particularly in love with, but I wanted to come on and give a little bit of a highlight to this fragrance because it reminds me of back in my high school days. But before we get into that, I want to welcome you back to my channel. Glad to have you. Happy to meet your acquaintances. This is your very first time ever meeting me. Welcome. Just to give you a brief scenario of what we talk about here on my channel, uh, we mainly talk about the fragrances that are in my collection. Of course, those that are sent to me in samples, those that are on my wish list. It's not too hot, hot to talk to Santa Claus. You better chat it up with them. Uh, also, the fragrances that I've had in my collection for years and years and years, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We'll also talk about natural skincare. We'll talk about makeup. We will talk about all types of hair, weave, wigs, natural hair, you name it. We'll talk about love, relationships, romance, dating, family issues, and faith. All right. And anything else you want to talk about, so make sure you leave comments below and also emails. Uh, and then you can also reach out to me on um, Instagram. My Instagram tag is color me bad underscore Lynn. So I hope to meet you over on Instagram. Uh, we chatted up about uh, fragrances and we spread love. All right. All right. So I do want to send a brief disclaimer out. Um, I do want to first off thank all of my subscribers. I greatly appreciate all of your love and your support. Um, I don't have any house rules for my channel. Uh, we keep it pretty uh, loving. We keep it light. Um, we do ask that if you do comment, um, that you refrain uh, from profanity. Um, I've had to take down a couple of comments because people, um, you know, people have, you know, all anywhere in life have the takeover spirit and they feel that they can comment and say whatever they want to say on people's pages. Um, and so uh, with that being said, uh, we would appreciate it. If you refrain from profanity in the comments, okay? Um, I, I value my channel. I respect uh, YouTube as a family and the fragrance community, the beauty community as a whole. Um, and we try to keep it as clean as possible. Um, there are children that watch this. My children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren may watch these videos someday. And so um, I would like for them to be able to look back at these videos and be proud of them. So if you feel the need to uh, use profanity, got it? Thank you. All right. So the fragrance that um, I want to come on and share today um, is from the house of Liz Claiborne. And this is so nostalgic. Um, I always talk about scent memories because um, if you smell certain things throughout your adulthood, um, they will remind you sometimes of things of your childhood. Um, it could be good memories. It could be bad memories. Um, it could be things that recall things that have happened to you in your life that you kind of bury down deep down on the inside of you uh, that you wanted to forget about. Um, but nonetheless, they help the brain. They keep the brain healthy. Uh, and so with that being said, one of the fragrances that recalls a nostalgic memory for me is Liz Claiborne, Liz Claiborne, Liz Claiborne by Liz Claiborne. And I just knocked something over, which is one of my favorite fragrances. Um, it is this bottle here. I'll bring it in a little bit closer. This is an all plastic bottle, as you can see. Uh, this fragrance is probably launched back in the 1980s. So I'm going to take the cap off. The cap is kind of tight because I don't use this one. Um, I have another bottle of this um, that comes in a larger glass bottle that when I do want to spray this on, that's what I spray on. I'm going to spray a little bit on my skin just to kind of get the vibe for this. Um, we're going to let this die down because it is If you love a floral chef for fragrance, this is something that you may want to get your nose on and add to your collection. 
Um, some people, it's either a love or a like with this fragrance because it is extremely. Um, but I do want to share that once this fragrance dies down, it turns into the sweetest fragrance ever. But this reminds me of high school so, so much. Um, I made a small post on Instagram uh, about this fragrance and what it reminds me of. And it reminds me of hustling from the music building and department to the athletic department when I was in high school. That was a long haul and it was hard to make it before the bell rang. Uh, and so that's what, especially if we got held over in our, um, our acapella class, sometimes we start singing and uh, we would we would go over and this is what this reminds me of trying to run and get to class on time uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that we go over the notes of this fragrance so if you don't have this in your collection and you're interested in adding an old school nostalgic extremely affordable fragrance to your collection this may be the one for you Again, this fragrance is Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne for women. Of course, anyone who wants to wear this absolutely can. Um, your main accords of this fragrance, it is floral. It's white floral. It's green. And when I say green, it is green, green. It is aromatic. It's sweet. It has yellow floral. It's woody. Um, it's balsamic. It's mossy. Again, I told you it's green, green. But when it dries down, it has a powdery component to it. So if you can get past that very first blast out of loudness in this fragrance, you are in for a treat. I'm telling you. Um, let's see if they gave us any notes on this fragrance. Um, and I think that they did. Yes, they did. So Liz Claiborne by Liz Claiborne is a floral fruity fragrance for women. Um, if you have really um, um, strong allergic reactions to fragrances, and you don't do well with really f heavily florally scented fragrances, you may want to refrain from wearing this around your ears, behind your neck, because this could turn headachy if you overspray this, okay? I just want to warn you. Um, again, this is a floral fragrance for women. Liz Claiborne was launched in 1986. So that was around, that was the, that's about the right time. Um, late 80s, early 90s is what this reminds me of. The notes behind this is Nicholas Calderon. Um, your top notes of this fragrance are marigold, carnation, green notes, freesia. You get a little bit of peach in here. So if you are allergic to things... Um, like in the springtime, like peach fuzz. We used to have a peach tree in our yard when I was growing up. Um, and when they first started blooming and blossoming, I mean, my allergies used to go crazy, especially when they started to spread from one tree to we had, there were actually, um, I think maybe two in our yard. And before we moved from that particular location, those trees would be so full of peaches that everybody in the neighborhood would come and eat. Uh, from that tree um, and my allergies were so bad. I don't think I ever actually ate a peach uh, From that particular tree, but that's what this reminds me of um, Lily mandarin orange bergamot Your middle notes are what I love to call your heart notes consist of narcissus Tuberose lily of the valley. It has a little bit of jasmine in it. So ironically enough This is one of those really loud floral fragrances um, that takes a minute to die down. But once it does, you begin to sniff your skin a little bit and go, oh, okay, this is good. It dies down beautifully. Um, it has a langy lang in it. Of course, it has a little bit of rose in it. No wonder I liked it so much back in the day. It has violets. Um, your base notes are very solid. You have oak moss. You have sandalwood. You have a musk component and amber. So this is definitely, definitely something that is uh, not a go-to for me. I very seldom sprayed out on this. I think I sprayed out on this for the first time yesterday in a while. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that my fragrance was still good because it's a collector's item for me, okay? And so I wanted to make sure it was still good, um, and it is. Um, they gave us a little extra notation on this, and so I'm going to go ahead and share that with you at this time. Um your signature for Liz Claiborne perfume was released in 1986. It is a floral rhythm. It captures um, with carnation, your lily, freesia, um, you've got your mandarin, marigold, um, you've got your green notes, bergamot, and peach at the top. 
followed by a floral wave of jasmine. And that's kind of what it does. It kind of flows in with your jasmine, your narcissus, and your rose. And I get rose coming up from my skin. Um, everybody's different, but this really marries down on my body chemistry really, really nicely. Um, again, Elang Elang, you get your lilac, you get your tuberose, your lily of the valley, um, and violet at the very heart of this. Your base notes, again, include a warm sandalwood, amber, oak moss, and musk. Um, this bottle was a Pierre Denon's creation. So that's who created the design um, on this particular bottle. Thank you, Pierre. Um, this is such an attractive bottle, especially when, like I said, this way from way back in the day, um, this came, the larger bottle is yellow. Um, and then you have um, your blue bottle and then you have the red bottle. So I have this one. And then I also have, if I can find it, oh yeah, so I also have this one, and this one I really don't use that much, but this is really, really nostalgic as well. So I have this one also. Um, this one actually is a little bit smoother than the ones that are in the plastic bottles. Um, I really, really love the way this dries down on me a lot better. It's a lot smoother. Um, to me, it's better formulated. And I just love the bottle. I've only used a little bit of the juice on that. Extremely affordable. But look at that bottle. It's just a really nice collector's item if you do collect fragrances and you like those old school nostalgic bottles. So that's why I hold on to that one. Um, yeah, so definitely if you love your chef for florals and you're not afraid of a really, really loud fragrance, um, I highly recommend that you add this um, to your collection. It just reminds me of, like I said, those back in the days with the salt and pepper days, with the stack haircuts, um, trying to hustle from our music building over to the athletic department and trying to beat that bell. And I thought I would come on and share this fragrance. You know, some things remind you and give you really, really good memories. Um, and that's what this does for me. So I thought I would come on and share this old school nostalgic bottle. If you have this in your collection and you remember this from back in the late 80s and early 90s, shout it out down in the comments and share with me how you layer this fragrance. Um, I have a really nice um, mandarin and tangerine body oil um, that I compare with this that smells really, really delightful. It's, it makes it a really smooth and creamy fragrance um, and it kind of mellows it out a bit because this is uh, and it's funny because I was reading some testimonials about this fragrance and a lot of the testimonials were how much uh, when girls wore this back in the day, boys love this. Uh, and so I don't remember that part, uh, but I do remember a lot of us wearing this fragrance back in the day. Uh, and so shout out to anybody who graduated back in the 80s and early 90s and you remember this fragrance if you don't have this in your collection um, make sure you add this one if you love your chef for florals it's a really cute bottle it looks really nice on your vanity especially if you kind of color coordinate your fragrances you know what i always say when i have a fragrance in my collection that i adore even if it's not my favorite get you some this is color me bad land saying thank you guys for watching I really appreciate all of the love and the support. I want to welcome all of my new subscribers um, and say gracias. You all have a wonderful, wonderful day, afternoon, evening, weekend, whenever you gain an opportunity to view this video. Thank you. This is Color Me Bad Land saying bye for now.